we will talk of code coverage analysis and we will use a tool called gco if we think how well have we tested our code code coverage is the key indicator have we executed each line of the code or not so if a tool can tell us that which lines have we executed and which lines have we not then we know where to add test cases in fact if the tool can tell us which lines execute most of the time let's say 10000 times this code executes and 100 times the other code executes then we can optimize the code which executes 10000 times so knowing the code coverage and which lines execute how many times is of great help and of course often in engineering there are demands that we achieve close to 100% code coverage so how do we use code coverage with gco the first step is while compiling we need to add these two options minus f profile arcs and minus f test coverage what what do these options do first thing they do is they create these gc no files you can understand them as gco nodes files they are like the structural information or the graph information of the code itself the structure of the code is represented in some notation and encoded in these gc no files we will see where it is used the other thing it does is that when it creates the executable it adds some instrumentation code that the executable will keep noting which lines are executing it will keep counting how many times each line is executing and where is that noted information written so the executable when you execute it the first time these files these gc da files will be created these are like gco data files and when you keep running the executable with different test cases these gcda files are keep getting updated that means in the gcda there is accumulated cumulative data that till now each line has executed how many times it could be some number of times or it may be zero also for zero there is a different notation but we'll see that so basically the concept is one one is nodes files these these nodes files which are structural information noted at the time of compiling of the code and then these don't change unless you change the source code these files don't change then we keep running the code again and again with different test cases and the data files are keep getting accumulated and then of course uh, there are other things .c .gco files which we generate which we, i will uh, demonstrate so i have taken a very simple project having a simple main .c file if there are multiple files the same commands get extended just you have multiple files given so nothing fundamentally changes these files .gcno gcda even the .c .gco which is the text report which i will show just now they are per source code file so if you have five source code files then you have five sets of .gcno .gcda .c .gco files we will see so let's say we are talking of this project and it's a very simple code we take input from the user in integer and if it is less than 10 we print this otherwise if it is less than 20 that means it's roughly between 10 and 20 we print this or if it is greater than 20 we print this so intuitively we can see that in three executions in three test cases we can reach 100% code coverage so we will analyze code coverage on this code we run these commands so while compiling we add the, these two options so let's run and if we do ls we find that gcno is created gcno as i said is structural information about main.c encoded in some format so main.gcno contains structural information about the code and it gets generated at time of compilation and then it doesn't change at time of execution if you change the source code and recompile it will change now we are running our test case with some value so we run a dot out and we give the value 1 and output comes and now if we do ls we find that this file has got created the first time you run the executable that dot gcda will be created next time you keep running gcda will be updated both are like binary files gcda gcno we can't really understand 
So how do we generate something which matters to us? This is how we do that. We say gco and then source code file name. Once you do that, it tells you that we have achieved so much of percentage, 66.67 percentage. And it tells you that detailed report is lying in this file, main.c.gco. It's a text file, so we can just print it. Now, when you print it, it's basically the entire source code with line numbering. This one, two, three, this is the line numbering in the source code. And Chico adds one column to each line. It says this line is executed once. This line is executed once. These lines are not executed. So if you have a hash hash hash, that's a thing that you, you need to add some test case. In fact, often we do grep with hash 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 in the entire set of .c.gco files and we know where to add test cases. If there are five .c files, I, as I said, there will be five .c.gco files. It's like everything is one per source code file. We understand uh, we uh, gave the value one, so code went here, but it never touched these parts. And you will see this hyphen also. Hyphen basically means that that line is not really an executable statement. It is maybe a curly brace or empty line like that. Okay. We achieved 66% and these are the lines we touched. These one, one, one. And these are the lines we didn't touch. When we run again, you will notice that these lines increment. It becomes two and in the third run, it becomes three. We have noticed first thing in the column could be a number or a hyphen or hash 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 means this line has not been executed yet so hash 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 is the one which indicates that add more test cases here so now we need to execute this so of course we will if we give 15 to reach here and 25 to reach here then we will be done so let's uh, do that and i give 15 initially and it executes and dot gcda has been updated silently so let's generate the report gco main.c and it generates our report and we notice that code coverage has increased earlier it was 66 point something percent and now it has increased to 88 okay let's see the report and we notice that this part is executed you can see it is one you notice that some lines are executed two times and you notice that this is just one line which is left now maybe we can make it 100 percent we run it and we enter 25 and we generate the report now you can see this 100 percent let's print it main.c.gco and here you can see everything is executed so broadly, the three branches each have been executed once and some common code executed three times, right? So we have achieved 100% code coverage and that's what we wanted. Just uh, some small notes. So first thing is do not use optimization options when we are doing code coverage because you can understand the mapping between the source code line and the exact machine code will change if we do source code optimization then the compiler will rearrange the code and it will not really match to the source code and when we run the executable it just updates the gcda files which are binary files to generate the text file report we need to do gco that file dot c individually for every source code file if there are five source code files we need to run this command five times with each of course, you can add these things in the make file also. So it runs automatically. And these are some references which can be useful.